What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and enjoying freedom. It's a great day to have a great day. Today I wanted to talk about Elon Musk potentially considering creating his own version of a smartphone to give a nice middle finger to the iPhone and the Android. We're gonna get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos, subscribe to my second channel for weekly videos, get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel. Remember, we have the limited edition DYDSS Christmas line, only available until December 25th, and a portion of the proceeds are going to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Try out some G Fuel Energy Formula, $5 off first order by clicking the link in the description. And of course, last but certainly not least, make sure to go and get your up to 12 free fractional shares by downloading Weeble and funding your account. V refer just one friend, one single friend, by the end of the month, and they're gonna give you all the way up to 20 free shares of Google, guaranteed at least one free share of Google, each share worth about $100 right now. And of course, for every friend you refer, they're gonna give you 15 free fractional shares per referral. And for every friend you refer, they're gonna give you an entry to the new year prize board, where they're gonna be picking random people who made referrals in the month of December. And then January, they're gonna give those couple people even more free shares of Google. Everything will be linked in the description. All right, so today I wanted to talk a little bit about some Elon Musk news. Now, I know this isn't anything of real importance. I just wanted to use it as an example of something that I want to talk about. Something pretty interesting. Something uh, not even newsworthy, but I know it's a hot, trendy topic to be talking about right now. So that's exactly what I'm gonna be talking about today. Elon Musk, potentially, at some point in the future, launching his own smartphone. If, 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 Apple or, or any of these big tech companies bump Twitter off of the App Store. Now, at the moment, that's not a threat. At the moment, that's not anything that anybody necessarily needs to be worrying about, but a woman by the name of Liz Wheeler on Twitter the other day, who, by the way, I have no idea who she is. Just full disclaimer, I'm not talking about her for any particular reason, and I also don't mean to be condescending when I say that. I genuinely have never heard her name before. She said on Twitter, toward the end of November, here's the tweet, if Apple and Google boot Twitter from their app stores, Elon Musk should produce his own smartphone. Half the country would happily ditch the biased snooping iPhone and Android. The man builds rockets to Mars. A silly little smartphone should be easy, right? She posted this November 25th, 2022. Now, before I get into Elon Musk's reply, because he did, in fact, reply to the tweet, publicly tweeted out in response to Liz Wheeler. Before I talk about Elon's response, let me say this. Never in a million years would half of the country <laughs> happily switch to the Elon Musk phone, the e-phone, he should call it. That would not happen. The iPhone, iPhones and, and Androids, especially iPhones, not only are they a brilliant tool, not only are they just completely next level, I don't think you could even compete with one of those. When it comes to all of the different ways you can use an iPhone in particular, I use an iPhone, I have three iPhones, I have a personal phone, a work phone, and a business phone. I have other Apple products as well. I, the only thing I don't have is a MacBook laptop. That's something that I do not have. It's something that I would consider getting in the future. I'm a big Apple fan. I've never worked for Apple before. I've never been sponsored by Apple before. This is just my own personal opinion over here. I'm just a big fan of Apple products. I think that they work better for me and what I do than any other product on the market and many other people, millions of people, tens of millions of people, hundreds of millions of people feel the same way. But not only that, in addition to it being an incredible product, it's also a status symbol. So I don't think anybody would let go of the iPhone or even the Android in a lot of cases for something that Elon Musk 
would create as essentially just a middle finger to the other tech giants. But anyway, moving away from that, I wanted to get into Elon's reply because like I said, he did in fact respond to Liz Wheeler's tweet. He responded to this tweet right here. Here's what he said. I certainly hope it does not come to that, but yes, if there is no other choice, I will make an alternative phone. Tweeted out by Elon Musk on November 25th. And by the way, really quick, back to Liz Wheeler, by the way. I know she has her fair share of things to say about Apple products, or really just, you know, other products in general, iPhone and Android and whatnot, talking about how they're biased and snooping. I just wanted to point out, again, not to throw any shade towards Liz over here, but this was tweeted via iPhone. So she's saying what she wants to say about the iPhone while using an iPhone. Like I said, love it or hate it, it's a fantastic product and it's 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 a mandatory product to have in a lot of ways. But anyway, Elon Musk potentially, or at the very least, willing to consider creating his own smartphone. What are my thoughts on that right there? My thoughts is that I don't think that would be to necessarily compete with Apple or compete with any other company that produces phones, smartphones, computers, and whatnot. I don't think it would be for that reason. I think it would be a temporary thing. I don't think he would become a full-time smartphone salesman. I don't think that would be something that he would be pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing for years down the road, decades down the road. I don't think the Elon Musk smartphone would be seen that way. I don't think it would be I don't think it would be a longevity play. I think it would be more of a short-term middle finger. Oh, if you don't want, you know, Twitter here, guess what? It's still going to be here just because it's not in your house. I built my own house and this is where Twitter lives now. I think it would be more so something like that. And if Elon were to come out with his own phone, once again, I just thought of it you know, while I was filming this video, it just as an even bit bigger middle finger, he should name it the e-phone, the Elon Musk smartphone. I have no idea what it would be called, but if he were to produce one, if he were to put one out, if it were to hit the market, I would absolutely get one. Not for the reason Liz Wheeler said. In fact, I don't think I would even activate it. I, I don't think I would even use it. I would just want to have it just to have it. To me, it would be more of a collectible than anything else. It would just be some like internet trolling memorabilia and I'm here for it. I love stuff like that. And I'm also a big fan of Elon Musk. Do I agree with everything he does? Absolutely not. Do I strongly, strongly, strongly disagree with certain things that he does and certain things that he says? Oh yeah, big time. But overall, I am a fan of Elon Musk and even more so, I'm just a fan of his style of trolling. It's something that I can kind of align myself with because I troll people the same way, or at least I used to. I'm more of an, a real life troll. I kind of picture what Elon Musk does on Twitter. That's kind of what I do in real life, <laughs> believe it or not. But anyway, just wanted to put this video out there. I just wanted to talk about a little bit of Elon Musk news. Like I said in the intro of the video, it's not really anything overly of importance. This was more of just a commentary video. Something's going on in the world of Elon Musk and in the world of digital media and smartphones and iPhones are mixed into it. So I wanted to offer some of my thoughts, some of my input and, you know, a little bit of commentary. Hopefully somebody out there would like to share their opinion. If you have one, head on down in the comments. Let me know. If you guys like today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Go and get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel in the biggest possible way. We have the limited edition DYDSS Christmas line only available until December 25th. Get one while you can. They're going away in just a couple of days, so please move fast, and a portion of the proceeds are going to be going right to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. It's the season of giving. Please help us raise a little bit of money for charity. Try out some G Fuel Energy Formula. $5 off first order by clicking the link in the description. It's December, which means they're going to have buy one, get one free sales going on periodically throughout the month, so go ahead and buy one, go ahead and get one free, and go ahead and get $5 off on top of that. 
And of course, last but certainly not least, make sure to go and get your up to 12 free fractional shares by downloading Weeble and funding your account. If you refer just one friend by the end of the month, Weeble's gonna give you all the way up to 20 free shares of Google. You have the chance of winning all the way up to 20, but you're guaranteed at least one. So you're walking away a winner no matter what. You're gonna get somewhere between one and 20, and each of those shares are worth about $100 right now. And for every friend you refer, you're also gonna get 15 free fractional shares of some of the most rock solid companies on the planet. Ford, Coca-Cola, Starbucks, Apple, the list goes on. And also for every friend you refer, Weeble's gonna give you an entry to the new year prize board. This is something that's going on throughout the month of December for every friend you refer, or for the people that made referrals in the month of December. In January, they're gonna be picking a handful of people that made referrals and they're gonna give you even more shares of Google. Everything will be linked in the description. Please, for the love of God, do not pass up on an opportunity. This is a major opportunity in front of you and if you don't want the free stocks, go and get them anyway and then just sell them. <laughs> Congratulations, now you have the cash to do whatever you want with. Get some silver, invest it elsewhere, get the new Elon Musk phone, I don't know. Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you tomorrow. Don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.